Good morning, Purple Flex Group. Okay, so you know what we're doing today, don't you? On the screen, we've got all our recap sounds. Are you ready to see which ones you can remember? Let's have a look. So let's start with this one. Like yesterday, I'm going to count in my head to four and then I'll say the sound. See if you can beat me to say the sound. So what's the first one? Okay, the first one is ah. Did you get that one? Ah. Let's try this one. And this one is How about this one? This one is shh. And this one? This one is mmm. Mm. How about this one? This one we did yesterday, didn't we? This is the aw sound. Aw. Okay, and this one? Ch -ch 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 -ch. And finally. How did you do today? Are we getting faster and better every day? I hope we are. Okay, let's look at today's sound, shall we? Oh, so we have another sound that starts with the A this time. So this is a digraph again. It starts with A, but it's not A and R. This time it's A and I. And the A and I letters, when they go together, make the A sound. So they make the name of this letter. So A and I make the A sound. A. Can you say that for me? A. Okay, so let's have a look at how we write it. Now, this one should be quite easy for us to write because we've practiced writing our A before. So let me get my pen and here we go again. They both start on the line. They're both small letters and they both sit on the line. You can see the pattern emerging, can't you? All letters start on the line. They all sit on the line. Not many of them at all. Not many of them have tails. Most of them are like this. They're the small letters. So let's start on our line. And remember, our at starts as a curly k, doesn't it? So we're going to curl up. Curl back round. Oop, I should have that on the line and it's not quite on the line. There we go. So there's our A ah, and then our It starts on the line. Oops, that's no good, is he? I'm going to rub that one out because we don't want to go under the line. We definitely don't want to go under the line. Let's try again with this pen. So we're going to go up and back down. And then we're going to give him a dot on top. So that's our A ah and our I pushed together to make the A sound. Again, use your handwriting sheets at home to practice those sounds, to practice those letters, and then write them together and say the A sound so that you remember that those two letters, when you see them together in that order, make the A sound. Okay, so let's move on. So again, today we have real words on the screen because we've got the tick to tell us. So as per usual, we have our sound buttons underneath. Have a look at them, sound them out, Say them really, really quickly, merge those sounds together and find out what the word says. Come back to me when you're ready. OK, are we ready? So let's have a look at what we've got today. So we've got a or ale, ale, hail. Try the next one. So we've got g ain, g ain. Gain, gain. Oh, we're getting slightly longer here now. So we've got ch, we've got the ch sound, haven't we? So ch, ain, ch, ain, chain. And how about this one? This is the trickiest one. We've got more sounds in this one. So we've got br, ain. Mm. So I need to get those two together. Br, br, ain, brain. So if you found that one tricky, Try and blend those two together first and then add them to the rest. You'll find that will make it easier. If you're if you're leaving a big gap between the b and the r, you're not going to hear the word. You have to merge those two together. So rather than b r ain, you need to go br br ain. So merge those two together first. Take the word in sections and merge the bits together to find it if you're finding it tricky. 
Okay, so you know what's going to happen now. We're going to do some spelling. So get yourself a piece of paper and a pen and I will say the first sound. Pause me, come back to me when you need to have a look and see if you're right. So our first word today is paid. Paid. Have a go at that one. Okay, let's take a look. So we've got paid. Paid. Okay, our second word is rain. Rain. Right, let's see how you did with rain, shall we? So we've got rain. Rain. Well done if you got that one right. Okay, the next one is fail. Fail. Shall we have a look at fail? Let's see what we've got. So we've got fail. Fail. And the last one is train. Train. Hopefully you slowed that one down when you sounded it out because there's a sound in there that some people miss. So let's have a look. So we've got train, train. If you missed that R out, your word would have actually said tain. You would have missed that one out. Sometimes we don't hear it when we're saying it. That's why slowing it down with our bow and arrow can help us. If you heard it, absolutely fabulous, well done. Okay, so today's draw a picture for me. You know what we're gonna do now. I'm not gonna read this sentence written in, in um, red. So it's underlined, it's there for you, and it's a phrase ready for you to draw. So it's asking you to read what's on screen and then draw me the picture. You can read that because you know all these sounds now and you are amazing. So read your sounds, draw me the picture, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.